Hey guys, so today, I will share to you what are my process of hatching. Since you always asking me to do a hatching tutorial, kaya ngayon, i-cover up ko sa inyo kung ano ba yung mga techniques ko na ginagawa madalas sa paggawa ng portrait using the hatching process. Kasi alam ko naman, some of my video tutorials is mabilis talaga. Kaya I decided to make the whole process of portrait and not to time lapse it. So what I'm trying to do first is I will sketch the reference that I find on Pinterest and ito try ko itong kopyahin lahat. But here's my techniques of my sketching. Palagi ako nag adjust sa bawat feature ng face like the eyes. Katulad ng pinapalaki ko sila ng konti which is similar to anime eyes. Well, wag naman masyado malaki, di ba? Dapat yung sakto lang. Palagi ko itong ginagawa kapag minsan na nag sketch ako sa pansarili libangan ko lang. Tinatry ko din itong mas maging attractive kaysa sa bastang kinokopya ko lang na reference, di ba? Well, basically, parang gumagawa ka lang ng sarili mong art style dyan. Pero minsan, halos di ko na din ito ina-adjust para hindi maging overpatig, di ba? Okay, about naman sa hatching technique ko na madalas ginagawa is ituturo ko sa inyo kung ano ba yung basics. So, napaka-basic lang nito guys. Pagkatapos ko may sketch ang lahat, ang una kong gagawin is light shading sa buong feature ng face using the hatching. Ginagawa ko ito para mas madali ko nang ma-visualize yung pagkakakilala ng face. Madalas din ako nasisimula usually sa mata lagi sa pag-shading dahil yun ang pinakakomplikadong part bago ko isunod yung nose at yung bibig. Sa ginagawa kong hatching, para mas maging familiar kayo, hatching is a bunch of lines going in the same direction using the same pressure and that's really much it. Pero ang method na to is great for doing some shadings, especially kung binibilisan nyo yung pag-shading, makaka-create kayo ng magandang strokes, lines para sa texture ng skin tones. So using my mechanical pencil, this is 0.5, pero kung may ordinary yung pencil lang kayo, Okay lang yun dahil as of me, noong 2016, madalas kong ginagamit is monggol lang para sa pag-shading. At nakaka-create naman ako ng portraits noon pero hindi ganun kaganda. Tapos noon, noong pinost ko yun sa group na Guhit Pinas, well, hindi naman ako nabuli. So, sa so pag-shading din, hindi naman nasasari lagi na ini-smudge yung stroke ng hatching. Importante kasi yan na iniiwan nyo lang yun para sa textured ng papel. Palagi ko kasing ginagawa yan para magmukhang stylish yung drawing, ba? Diba? At para mapil din yung sketchy feeling sa portrait. Also, mas prepare ko kasi yung semi-realism kasi sa sobrang realistic dahil mas mabilis itong gawin at hindi siya time consuming compared to realistic drawings. Kasi I've done so many realistic portraits with smooth skin tones using a charcoal. Pero I end up with this technique para mas mabilis yung process ko na paggawa ng portraits. At stylish din siya, di ba? So, as for me guys, when it terms of shading, hatching is better compared to cross hatching. So, kung hindi kayo familiar sa cross hatching, ganito ko siya ginagawa. Pero sa ngayon, mas prepared ko kasi na ginagamit na technique is hatching kaysa sa cross hatch. So, do you know why? Kasi you may notice some of the other artists did the same as me. Pero ang pagkakaalam ko kasi, mas okay kasi na mas sharp yung sketch nyo para mas maging attractive siya tingnan, ba? So, ganyan na kasi yung ginagawa ko ngayon sa paggawa ng portrait. Kaya, as much as possible guys, gawin nyo mas cute yung drawing nyo. Nakonfused din kasi ako dati na mga around 2020. On that time, uh, I am making some drawings with realistic look. And it's very detailed on that time, hindi pa ako ganun kakilala sa social media. Siguro mga nasa 3K pa lang yung subs ko. Pero nung nag-upload ako nun about sa cross-hatching noon, doon nag-boom. Well, it's a campaign, sorry. On that time, na-realize ko na mas gusto nang manonood yung mga ganong content. Kaya I decided na mag-practice pa lang about shading, about hatching, and cross-hatching. Hanggat sa dumating ako sa point na ganito. Well, anyways, share ko lang. So, sa pag-control naman ng pencil, kapag nag-shading ako, lagi kasi naka-slant yung pencil ko at palagi din pahila yung bawat hagod. So, those are my techniques. So, another one guys, this is my most secretly techniques na ginagawa. I'm not supposed to share it to you, pero ito na. Well, I'm just joking. I have no secrets. Okay guys, remember this. Don't you ever hatch using the curved lines. So why is that? 
dahil I found that some of the facial feature of the face is round. And then when I do shade based on the curve of the face, it is turning to not stylized of what I wanted to do. So I spent another hour para ayusin yon. Kaya ang nangyayari is napupunta na naman ako sa habits ko na gawin super realistic yung drawing ko. And then minsan ang nangyayari is accidentally ko rin itong nakocross hatch. Which is nalalayo na sa stylized portrait na gusto ko. Kaya para lang naman sa akin, I found that hatching is better compared to cross hatching. So guys, this is what you needed to do to keep it chart your portrait as much as possible. So I have the sketch here and ang gagawin ko is I will shade it using the hatching. So na-notice nyo naman, ang sketch ko is more on round sketch, di ba? Kaya yung mga curved lines na yun, papalatan nyo lang yun ng mga straight lines. Para i-shade sya ng straight hatching only. And then kapag ginawa nyo yun, I will assure you that your shading process is will improve and keep it sharp as well. As a resemblance of what I am trying to explain to you guys. So this is the examples of inspires me about shading. Also, this is not my art guys, but they did the same resemblance of what I always doing on hatching. So I will link them in my description so that you can check their work. And so yeah, that's really much it guys. I hope you learned something in this video. And always remember to keep it sharp and keep it cool. Keep it cute and most of all, have fun what you're doing right now. So yeah, let's continue this work.